If you've ever struggled with what to wear when you're hosting, well, no, you're not alone because I struggle with that too. I know lots of us do. So today's episode is for you. We are taking it on the road. We're going to see one of my favorite stylists, Mena from Style Me Mena, is going to show us some really fantastic outfits and tips and tricks so that we can look our best when we are hosting. Because when you look your best, you feel your best. Are you ready? Let's go. So we have with us today Mena from Style Me Mena. Mena, you and I have talked a lot about yeah. what to wear when you're hosting. Yes. And I'm super excited that you agreed to be part of this and show us like all these fabulous ideas. Thank you but for asking me. Of course. Um, before we get to that, maybe if you could share with us a little bit about what you do. Yeah, how you sure. help. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. There's there's so many different things that I do, but um, I can take people shopping to revamp their wardrobe and sort of move you out of your comfort zone, so mm -hmm. to speak. Mm -hmm. Um, I help you fit your clothing based on your body type. I, I really push you a little bit outside of the box, but really I'm just revamping your wardrobe by shopping with you. Having said that, I also visit wardrobes. So I oh. look into your closet and I take your pieces and I create different looks to revamp all of oh all of the gosh. clothing that you already have and then I leave you with a list of things that maybe could supplement your uh, closet as well. That's awesome. Yeah. That's and, awesome. Yeah, it's great. It people feel good. I style people for special events, so whether yeah. it's a wedding or um, photo shoots. Photo, oh, yeah, lots, lots of photo, photo shoots. shoots. Photo shoots are huge right now. Yeah. I've been doing that a lot because it's overwhelming, right? This, this memory is going to be captured forever. <laughs> so you want to look really, really good, but not overdone. Yes. So it's it's a good it's a good balance. You need a good balance of classic and super sharp. Yeah. So I do that. Awesome. Yeah. But well, we're lucky to have you. Really? I'm lucky. Really, <laughs> really, we're really lucky. Um, and like I said, we have talked a little bit about hosting. And one of the things that we were talking about actually before we got on camera mm. was about um, dress code because yeah. what I get asked a lot like as you know with what I do people will ask like do I need to let my guests know about the dress code or how do I word that and I would say this like this is like the hosting mm -hmm. tip before we get to the fashion tip the hosting yeah. tip is if you plan on doing something um, extraordinary like something that you wouldn't normally do then you need to let your guests know. Also, if you plan on you know if you want it to be casual or more formal I think it's just good etiquette to let guests know because you want them to feel comfortable and that's part of feeling mm -hmm. comfortable. Right? And you know what I feel like from a fashion point of view, if you let your guests know that there's a dress code or hey it's super casual, it takes the guesswork and the stress out of what am I going to wear. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. But having said that, I again I love one pieces. Yes. Because it's simple, it's fashion forward, even though they've been around, I mean, jumpsuits have been around since the 70s, but it's still not a typical thing to wear yeah. to a party at a home, but you feel good. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And then when you feel good, everything you have seems a great to just time. Yeah, 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 you just exactly. have to relax, relaxed, you're, you're happy, and you just go with it. So I, I would say if, if you don't know the dress code, stick to that one piece yeah. a dress a jumpsuit a romper yeah yeah that's a good idea yeah so we are gonna jump to some of the one pieces you have ready for us yay <laughs> let's excited. go i was blown away by the stuff mena had ready for us she had wardrobes just jammed with super stylish clothes so i couldn't wait to see what outfits she got ready for us so we talked a little bit about what a hostess should look for and you've prepared some outfits for us to have a look at I did. so why don't you start by taking us through a couple of really good options that you think when you're hosting that you should be looking for? Yeah, for sure. So um, my first tip, I guess, is doing one pieces. They're simple, they're easy, and they're really, really different. Instead of wearing the shorts and a t-shirt or a tank, you wear a jumpsuit, a dress, or a romper. That's awesome. Yeah. I like that idea because sometimes you're struggling with like, 
what top to wear with which pants right. and whatever. So if you have one piece, yeah. then it saves you time. Even as the hostess, it saves you time to put on one thing. Instead. Right. And then you have to make sure that you're, you're always making sure that your colors are in the same hue, same family, textures aren't competing with each other. One piece. It, Love it. Yeah. Love it. You're done. It. So that like this. Right? How cute. I this. love this because not only is it a one piece, but it has pockets. So you can throw your keys in there, your cell phone, while you're at the table and you're eating or making yourself a drink. Yes, this is strapless. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> I, I was busty, girl. I'm just saying you and I were talking it's before. Stra <laughs> yeah, it's strapless, yes, but um a lot of the pieces nowadays have this sticky plasticky band so it adheres to the skin and it keeps pretty much everything in place yeah strapless bra because it's not backless and then there's this ruching this like it's called a yoke mm -hmm. oh yeah yeah and it's pants and it's pants and the fabric is really light the print is beautiful and you know what this is your one stop there's nothing else that you need to do with this yeah right because there's so much texture and so much detail here yeah. so that's one thing mm -hmm. Let's say a dress. Pretty simple, but then there's a little bit of mm, like boom that. in the yes, back, right? The cute. buttons all the way down. It's kind of backless. There's a tie here. It keeps the girls t tight. Yep. There's a bit of ruffle, but it's not going to get in the way of anything. Right. You know, and speaking of that, when you're hosting a party, my top tips are keep your torso tight. Yeah. So, nothing is you know <laughs> nothing in the salsa that, or in the yeah, but the worst yeah. thing the worst thing possible is you have this outfit you're hosting you're moving towards your table and then you get dirty yeah i had a shirt that had like a tie mm -hmm. you know yeah. like those ones that have yep. like the tie a, yep. with like a long yeah and then it ended up like in the stuff on the table yeah <laughs> that yeah so keep your torso yeah. really tight Good. your details small that yeah. doesn't mean you can't have details but keep them small like this really pretty ruffle okay, and then that is back so cute keep things in the back because this won't get in the way of anything right yeah and um pops of color if you notice you know what i did do i stayed away from black mm -hmm. i stayed away from black because color could be your statement it could be a really simple piece like this love that dress I Love it. Yeah, it's really simple. Oh, it's really light. Too. It's really light. The you know, there's a nice V neck, but again, it's close to your torso. So when you bend, that V neck isn't going to make anything spill out. Yeah. Right. Um, but the color is beautiful. It's vibrant. So there really isn't anything else you need to add to it because the color itself is a statement. So yeah. I try and stay away from black in the summer anyway because black is ubiquitous. Mm -hmm. It's everywhere, mm -hmm. all season long, all year around. So let's stay away from that for um, yeah. summer parties. Yeah. What would you say to somebody who wears black all the time and is not comfortable with color? Mm -hmm. What would you suggest as the first like step out color away from black? I would say. Because I think lots of us fall into that. For sure. You know, I would say blue and I love that you asked me that because I showcased a lot of blue here and a yeah. lot of different variations. Yeah. Blue, that's almost a denim color. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. Blue, that's pale. Yeah. Not too crazy, but it's not going to make you uncomfortable, but it's going to create some sort of vibe that's yeah. different than black. Yeah. And then, you know, we can go into your royals. We can go into your ceruleans. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, this is fun too. Again, details. Are so cutouts are big this year. I saw cutouts you, are huge. You were talking about yeah, that. cutouts are huge, but it's not too bad. It's not too big. Yeah, and it zips in the back. So if you you know you're in you have to go to the bathroom, you don't have to tuck and <laughs> snap and all of that other stuff. You just zip, unzip, and you're and you're good to go. Yeah. Yeah, and this has pockets too. I'm a lover of pieces that have pockets just yeah. because it's comforting too when you have your hands in your pocket. Mm -hmm. So this is a really good piece to host to host too because again that torso is tight. Yeah. There's detail woven into the fabric. The texture is in the material because it looks mm -hmm. almost like oh, yeah, ridges, now, right? Yeah. And then look at the detail here. There's pleats in the front. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to overpower what you need to do. Yeah. 
and then there's this one. If you like ruffles, if you like details, keep them up here, not in the center running yeah. down. Keep them up here so if you're washing a pot or a bowl or mixing drinks, it's, the fabric's not going to get in the way. Yeah, that's yeah. good advice. Yeah. That's good advice. So it's, again, it goes back to keeping it tight. Keeping it tight. Yeah. Keeping all of this tight, keeping your details small, a lot of detail in the back as opposed to the front. Yeah. Um, and color. Color oh. is your friend. So a lot of us now, the weather is getting warmer. Mm -hmm. We're going to do some entertaining and we might be taking the party outdoors. Right. So you want to look stylish, but you also don't want to be sweating, sweating or super hot. Yeah. So any suggestions as far as, um, you know, how to look stylish, but also not yep. melt when you're outside? For sure. Uh, a brand new fabric trend that is great is a light knit. Oh. So... It's a knit, really but it's yeah. really, really light. It's yeah. a mix of linen and cotton. Yeah. So it's going to keep you cool. Yeah. Yeah. And because there's a cotton in it, it's not going to wrinkle. Yeah. I love and that. then slits in the If you're going to wear a maxi dress, that's that's fine. Just make sure that your um, fabric is really cool, really lightweight, maybe some slits on the sides. Yeah. So you're not completely encased in fabric. So when you're walking and you're sitting and you're moving, you have some uh, air. Yeah, you can breathe. Yeah, you can breathe. Yeah. Yeah. Linen. Linen is beautiful. It's okay that it wrinkles because linen is supposed to wrinkle. So people aren't really going to think about that. Um, this just seems like a really simple, easy. It's cute. Cute. But if you go to the back, it's backless. And then you tie it, which we'll talk about a really cool tip that I have for this. But you just crisscross it, you tie it, and um, you're good to go. It's really pretty. Again, there's pockets. Mm -hmm. It'll keep you cool because of the length. Yep. Yeah, and the color's really pr pretty. Is that, is it shorts? No, it's a dress. No, it's a dress. Okay. It's a dress. Cute. Speaking of shorts, though, we're going to keep going. Yeah. Because there's this, too. This is a really fun backyard barbecue. If you don't really know what the theme is going to be like, yeah. a romper's really, really an easy fix because yeah. you're put together, you're fresh, you're fashionable, and it's cute. Mm -hmm. It's light and That's eerie. a nice way to do black, too. Yeah. Like black with other yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Okay, so we've gone through some really great outfits here. Now, what yep. about what to wear on your feet? Like, are oh. you wearing shoes, no shoes? Like, how are you? So, when it comes to hosting and going to an outdoor or a summer um, party, I say make your feet, make your shoes the statement piece. You don't want to be inundated with bracelets and rings and necklaces, especially when you're hosting, because it's just going to get in the way. Yep. So, slides... And mm -hmm. keep your footwear really embellished with How pearls, adorable. metal, rock studs, a bow, yeah. a great big bow on your feet. You know what I love about this print. too is that um, it's flat. Yeah. So as a host, you're on your feet quite a yeah. lot. You're running back yeah. and forth. You're making yeah. sure you know the food is refilled and drinks and that kind of thing. So you're not killing your feet. You can have yeah, flats right. that are like super stylish and super cute. Super cute yeah. and easily removable because if you're going in and out of the house and if you are someone who wants to take your shoes off when you enter the house, it's easy to do that. Yeah. And this really becomes your accessory, mm -hmm. right? You don't really need much jewelry if you have some metallic or some metals on your foot, on your feet. Right. Yeah. 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 So, Mena, you've shown us some really great options. Mm. Maybe you can share with us, if you don't mind, sure. a little bit of where you pick up these pieces. Like, where, where did you find these pieces? Where can we look for pieces like this? Um, all of these pieces are from H&M, Sheen, Winners. Winners has the best selection for summer really? wear. The best. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, Banana Republic. This yeah. this is from Banana Republic. This is from H and M. These are from Winners. There's a there, and then these are Shein. Excellent. I love that you shared that because I think oh. sometimes we get caught up in that. In order to look good, we have to spend a lot of money, mm -hmm. and that's not actually the case because these choices you gave us, you would never know. It looks 
stunning and yeah. super duper affordable. For sure. I mean, this is, I just picked this up this week and actually we pulled the tag off before we put it on the rack. I mean, this was a winner's find and I just popped in there and I looked through all of the things and I thought, oh, I like this. I'll yeah. take this. And it really was $24. Oh, yeah, you can't yeah. go wrong. Yeah, and you feel so great. Yeah. Mena was just a wealth of information. Didn't she have like fabulous clothes? Seriously. So if you have any questions for her or for me, let us know in the comments below and we would be more than happy to answer them for you. So until next time, happy hosting.